The Concorde didn't just fly faster than sound, it literally stretched in mid-air. At Mach 2.02, .02, more than twice the speed of sound, the aircraft's aluminum skin would heat up to over 127 degrees Celsius from air friction alone. And that heat, it caused the entire airframe to expand like a breathing machine. The Concorde would grow between 6 and 10 inches longer during cruise. That's not theoretical. The engineers measured the stretch during flight. Joints were designed to flex. Panels were built with thermal gaps. The entire fuselage was a controlled science experiment at 60,000 feet. Concorde was the only passenger jet in history that had to account for heat-based body elongation as part of its normal operation. Fuel was shifted mid-flight to rebalance the center of gravity. Even the famous droop nose was hydraulically cooled. Everything on board was built to bend, flex and survive the physics of near-orbital speeds. And inside, the stretch was so subtle, passengers never noticed. But the engineers? They could measure it to the millimeter in real time. At full cruise, Concorde grew up to 10 inches longer. Imagine a plane stretching nearly the width of a standard laptop, just from heat, every single flight. They even left small expansion gaps in the cabin to prevent cracking. The entire plane was built around the idea that it would deform on purpose. And here's the wildest part. When Concorde slowed down and descended, it shrank again. The entire aircraft contracted back to its original length before landing. It flew faster than sound, changed shape, and returned to normal, all in one flight. Nothing before or since has done that for passengers. Not even close. Concorde wasn't just fast, it was a shape-shifting machine that broke the rules of what we thought an airplane could be. It didn't just cross time zones, it bent physics.